Hi guys. It is an exciting Sunday afternoon doing laundry here. On the last day of January 2021, that would be a Sunday, January 31st, 2021, and I have to get ready to head back into the swamp at Fish Eating Creek to escape the Arctic blast blowing into uh, this neck of Florida. So anyone wanting to come join me at Fish Eating Creek, you can find me Monday night at Campsite 14 and Tuesday and Wednesday night at the most beautiful campsite in Fish Eating Creek, Campsite 62. A little dog and I would love to have you join us. So since I have nothing better to do, uh, we're just going to pretend like it's Monday morning and I'm going to go ahead and do my Monday uh, collapse. The Chronicle of the Collapse. I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. And I want to thank Alert Tribes member Lieutenant Brother JJ up in New York, baby, for uh, sending me. This is just kind of a review of the collapse from uh, Jeff Gibbs, you know, the guy, but the real guy behind Planet of the Humans. Not sure who co author Christopher Ketchum is, but writing in today's Sunday morning LA Times with an op ed. Not sure why this is an opinion, this is straight ahead fact. Collapsologists are warning humanity that business as usual will make the earth uninhabitable. Uh, so I've discussed this some of this already but this is just kind of a wrap up and the various recent studies showing us that we are witnessing the collapse of civilization and a planet take it away uh, Los Angeles Times <clears throat> as I've mentioned uh, in a couple of other rants Hundreds of scientists, writers, and academics from 30 countries sounded a warning to humanity in an open letter published in The Guardian in December. Policymakers and the rest of us must, quote, engage openly with the risk of disruption and even collapse of our societies, close quote, as, quote, damage to the climate and environment, close quote, will be the overarching cause, which is another way of saying humans will be the overarching cause, and quote, researchers in many areas, close quote, have projected, oh no, unbelievable that uh, this has done this. Uh, well, okay, this $1,600 computer, researchers in many areas have projected widespread social collapse as, quote, a credible scenario this century. It's not hard to find the collapsology studies they're talking about in a report for the sustainability group Future Earth, a survey of scientists found that extreme weather events, food insecurity, fresh water shortages, and the broad degradation of life-sustaining ecosystems, quote, have the potential to impact and amplify one another in ways that might cascade to create global systemic collapse, close quote. A 2019 report from the Breakthrough National Center for Climate Restoration, a think tank in Australia, projected that a rapidly warming world of depleted resources and mounting pollution would lead to, quote, a largely uninhabitable earth and a breakdown of nations and the international order, 
close quote. Yes, that is an alarm going off. Analysts in the U.S. and British military over the past two years have issued similar warnings of climate and environment-driven chaos. You can hear the uh, alarm bells ringing uh, here at the laundromat. <clears throat> of course, if you are a non-human species, collapse is well underway. 99% of the tall grass prairies in North America is gone by one estimate. 96% of the biomass of mammals, biomass is their total weight on Earth, now consists of humans. Yes, our pets and our farm animals. Nearly 90% of the fish stocks the UN monitors are either fully exploited, over-exploited, or depleted a multi-year or depleted and then a multi-year study in Germany shows a 76% decline in insect biomass. Yes. The call for public engagement with the unthinkable is especially germane in this moment of still uncontrolled seaward institutional failures and economic crises in the world's most technologically advanced nations. Not very long ago, it was also unthinkable that a virus that, kill, that has so far killed 0.026% of the planet, otherwise it was also unthinkable that a virus that has not killed 99.974% of humans would shut down nations and that safety nets would be proven so disastrously lacking in resilience. The international scholar's warning does not venture to say exactly what collapse will look like or when it might happen. Collapsology is more concerned with identifying trends and with them the dangers of everyday civilization. Ever-expanding economic growth the rapacious consumption of resources and the saturation of the planet's limited repositories for waste. Among the signatories of the warning was William Reese. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you can find my interview with William Reese right about one year ago I was interviewing William Reese, R-E-E-S, here on Collapse Chronicles. If you have not heard that interview and want to understand what is going on on this planet, go listen to that interview with William Reese, a population ecologist at the University of British Columbia, best known as the originator of the ecological footprint concept which measures the total amount of environmental input needed to maintain a given lifestyle. With the current footprint of humanity, most egregiously, the footprint of the energy and resource entitled Global North, Reese said in a quote, it seems that some form of global societal collapse is inevitable, possibly within a decade, certainly within this century, close quote. And uh, you can hear Dr. Reese elaborate on uh, that in our interview. Okay, the most pressing proximate cause 
of biophysical collapse, you know, sometime between the next 10 and 80 years, is what Reese calls overshoot. Humans, humans exploiting natural systems faster than those systems can regenerate. The human enterprise is financing its growth and development by liquidating biophysical capital essential to its own existence. We are dumping waste at rates beyond nature's assimilative capacity. Warming temperatures, plunging biodiversity, worldwide deforestation and ocean pollution, among other problems, are all important in their own right, but each of those is a mere symptom of overshoot, says Reese. The message we should glean from the evidence is that all human enterprise is ultimately determined by biophysical limits. We are, we are exceptional animals, but we are not exempt from the laws of nature. Another of the signatories on the warning letter is Will Steffen, a retired Earth System scientist from Australian National University. Oh, come on. And that is where my computer uh, decided to uh, that is where my computer decided to die uh, when we were going to hear from Will Steffen, but I was pretty close to the end of this. Guys, I'm going to put the link to the rest of this article since uh, global industrial civilization has collapsed on my computer uh, for no reason. Uh, well, for all kinds of reasons, I am having a collapse of global industrial civilization. So to hear what Will Steffen and uh, the rest of the collapsologists have to say, you can go on the link and read it for yourself in the LA Times uh, about how doomed we are. But now that I have gotten that off my chest, I need to uh, head back into the laundromat and uh, throw my clothes into the uh, throw my clothes into the big electric dryer. That is how I am uh, celebrating overshoot. How your Fellow collapsologist is doing his part for the human enterprise ecological footprint here at the laundromat. And then uh, while my clothes are drying, I need to run next door to the grocery store and get some sort of farm raised, factory farm raised pigs and chickens to eat uh, out there in the swamp at Fish Eating Creek because all of the fish in Fish Eating Creek I think have mercury in them. Don't want to eat the fish out of Fish Eating Creek because of the mercury. But do come see me at Fish Eating Creek, guys. Seriously, I will just be out there, me and the little dog, enjoying it while we still can. If you are anywhere in Florida, want to come join us, come find us. But uh, I think I see my clothes are done. I've got things on my mind other than the collapse of a planet. Bye, guys. Yes, yeah, little log. I have to go back to the laundromat, get the clothes in the dryer so we can go. We need to get you some dog food. You need some dog food or not? What kind of dog food? What kind of factory farmed dog food do you want? Is it Pop? I'll just eat the squirrelies at Fish Eating Creek. Bye guys.